actually it's very very windy today and uh, we're just going for a dandy stroll yes we're going over we're going over the sea praise bridge and yonder join me My goodness me, the uh, the sea breaks bridge is really wobbly today, man. It's bouncing around all over the place. I just feel it's like walking on the moon. Walking on, walking on the moon. I hope my legs don't break. Walking on the sea breaks bridge. Now I was reading in the paper that they were doing some uh, sort of graffiti, um, sort of bash thing down here. So let's see what they've done. It looks like just a lot of um, tags. To me, all sorts of names on there. There used to be lots of pictures and things. I think they've just gone right over it now. And uh, colours all very purpley, man. Goodness me, all very purpley. Look at it. All the way down there. Remember, used to be your seagulls and things. It's all just turned into names and tags now. That's good on Prince, man. Look, nice legs on like that. I like that one. That's good. That is an interesting one. Kengo Kuma. This is the guy that invented or designed the V and A. There he is. Look. Right, folks, behind me here we have some graffiti off Kengo Kuma, who is the guy who designed the V and A. There he is, he's got his own little spot here in Graffiti Alley. They went over all the other ones, but uh, they've kept him, kept this one alive, man, as a sign of respect to the chap who designed the V and A. As you can see, he's got a little sort of bonsai tree down there which he's tending, nurturing almost. It's like the birth of something new here in Dundee. Well, you come across this old bit of uh, mason down here. I thought this was a uh, a grave to start with, but looking at it more closely, I think it's probably a bollard with fence railings on it, and that's the end bit. And it's like it's just been bunged down here. It's probably a, somewhere around here with this sort of thing on it, and it's just been excess to requirements. And just bunged it down. It's just been left for like years and years just lying here at the base of this tree indeed yeah look there's some sort of uh, hang on we'll go over here it's like there's some railings were used to, well, used to be here look there we go look the railings used to be here and I reckon that's what that is over there that's what that is it's uh, part of this right mystery solved
Now here we are walking up Step Row. Now for some reason Step Row was made famous by uh, one of one of our sort of band of people. Uh, people who follow me and I follow them. Simon. He did a song called Step Row. It just went Step Row. Step Row. Kind of thing. So it's attained cult status you know, amongst us lot. So here we are walking up Step Row. Right, folks, this thing here, this has always intrigued me right here. What on earth is that in that window? What is it? It's like a freaky troll kind of thing. I don't know what it is. Ooh, spooky. Now, also, folks, up on the top of this roof here, you'll see, look, is that a notter or is it a meerkat? What is it? There's another one just up there on the chimney pot. Look, see them both looking out? What are they? Otters or meerkats? Who knows? So, what are they on the roof there, folks? What, what is it? An otter or is it a meerkat? I'm not actually sure. There's two of them. One's perched there on the chimney, the other one's just kind of looking out. So, I'm not sure why they're there. I have to do some research and find out, but there they are. That's where they, they live. Two otters or meerkats. Well, my kind of people. Hey, man. Hey girl. Nice. Well folks, I was, I was thinking of going into the shop and I plucked up the courage to go in, but the door's locked and there's a sign that says if door is locked, ring the bell. Because I've seen I've looked inside there and seen some ukuleles and small guitars. Uh, so I've been after a guitar, another new guitar for a while, folks, but uh, I'm scared to ring the bell. Look, ring the bell. I'm scared. Oh, these people haven't looked in the window, they might come in with me. Safety numbers and all that. I just don't want to go in because you know the when people when salesmen come at you and you're on your own, you feel obliged, you know, and, and, and sort of under pressure to buy, but um so there it is vintage strings though. An interesting looking shop I'm gonna have to go in man, come on, just do it. Just right, well actually I went in there folks. I was ringing the bell and it just came to the door, but oh, I don't know, I was looking at the ukuleles and things and they all seemed quite sort of mid-priced and not very good and oh, you know it was like oh, I've got to go and move my car and everything so it was a bit feeble really a bit feeble yes that's what I'm going to say a bit feeble in that shop but uh, there you go so and he had no left-handed guitars so I didn't buy anything Here we are walking up Springfield. Now Springfield is known as Dundee's Italian Quarter because of the uh, all the the Doric kind of pillars they have on every single house here. They've all got these fantastic entranceways into their their into their doorways. So it's kind of like the the Renaissance kind of style. So it reminds everybody of Italy. For some reason, so this is why they call it the, the Italian quarter. You can see everyone's got a pillar. Look at that, fantastic! All the way to the top, pillared entranceways. Absolutely wonderful, man! Really, 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 really nice. Love it. Look at that, super Dundee's Italian quarter. Here it is, right to the very top. And there's a nice big orange building at the top there. Look at that. Okay, but on the downside, folks, the Italian theme is kind of disheartened almost by look at the fact they've got wheelie bins all over the place. It's cars parked in every single available space. The buildings are a bit chipped and a bit sort of weary looking. There's there's people there's windows with sort of like just you know you can see their clothes hanging up and stuff, and so it just looks a bit a bit shabby almost. And it's a shame because it could be so nice. You know they could have like sort of like that feel about it but it just it doesn't it's a bit disheartened almost folks um, so it's a bit of a shame on one hand it is a fantastic sort of area to live in I would say if it had that if it had that renaissance feel about it but unfortunately it just doesn't it just feels a bit as I said disheartened and dead you know sort of like just things lying around and anyway 
Let's move on. Right, folks, I've kind of sneaked down this way. I don't know what's down here, but we're going to find out very shortly. Oh, people. Oh, I just got stopped by a, a man there. He shouted at me, Oi, what are you doing here? private private here so I explained what I kind of do like you know and he was like oh well okay fair enough then but uh, he said we've got students here and things so but I totally understand I was very pleasant to him and very nice so he was very cordial back to me so that's fine but I do understand that you know it must be weird to you know, a person like me wandering around and uh, and just <laughs> just wandering around basically oh, no look I am I'm lost there's a gate down here, look, here we go, we're, we're okay, we're safe, there we go. Safe back and... Right. <laughs> I took an apple, it's maybe for kids only, but see if I can get away with it. 